Across the country this morning, postal workers and activists showed up for rallies to call for Postmaster General Louis DeJoy to resign amid a week of national controversy surrounding the U.S. Postal Service. CBS4 investigator Katie Weiss joins us live now in Denver, where one of the rallies took place. And Katie, what are you hearing from protesters? Well, Kathy, they feel that the U.S. Postal Service is being sabotaged to purposefully undermine the November election. However, the post office assures me that it, quote, has more than enough capacity to handle election mail volume. We rely on the Postal Service to vote here in Colorado, and we need that to be safe and continue to be safe and reliable. People across the country rallied today to save the post office. In the Denver Metro, there were at least two rallies this morning. <laughs> One in Denver. It's essential that we stand up and say hell no. And one in Lakewood. I'm calling on the Postmaster General to restore the equipment that has been taken away in the blue boxes. Protesters calling for Postmaster Lewis DeJoy to be fired. DeJoy's two months on the job have been marred by controversy after he implemented, then recently suspended, changes, including curtailing postal worker overtime and the removal of blue mailboxes. Postal workers in Denver sent us these photos of dozens of mail collection boxes that have been removed around the city. I'm concerned uh, by anyone who is making efforts that may uh, risk our ability to process mail. But the post office says removal of collection boxes is a decades-old protocol and approximately 3,500 boxes are removed every year. The post office also says DeJoy's confident the post office will deliver election mail on time because ballots only make up 2% of the post office's total mail volume. But some mail carriers believe more funding needs to be provided to ensure USPS services are protected. The public has to call their representatives in Congress to really make it clear to them that we stand with our Postal Service and we want it to be able to continue to provide the universal good and service delivery that it has for centuries. Now, the House of Representatives is set to vote on a bill tonight that would provide $25 billion in funding for the U.S. Postal Service. However, even if that bill passes, the White House has already said that it opposes the bill. Reporting live in Denver, I'm Katie Weiss, covering Colorado First.